lived in Charlotte my whole life, and I'm a junior at South Bay, and I'm part of Save or Stand Against Indifference. In fifth grade, I met Bethany Carr, who introduced me to Africa, and I started learning from her how separate America is from the rest of the world. Um, it's hard to imagine here in America that there are kids who don't have a pair of shoes to their name, that there are kids who are worrying about where they're going to get a meal, and we have nothing to worry about. So these people were always on my heart, and I started loving them, and just, I'd always planned, okay, when I get older, I want to be a missionary. I want to go live with these people. I want to show them that even though they have no worldly possessions, they have God and they have love, and I wanted to go and be with them. But then in February, I went to a student dialogue day at Charlotte Latin School, and I heard um, speaker David Johnson, and he was saying, so what are we doing? What are we doing as high school students here? And I felt God telling me, Anna, what are you doing now? It's awesome that you want to do something when you're older, but what are you doing right now to show these people love? And so the only thing I could think of was I could inform other people. So with Hannah Heidenreich, we created Save or Stand Against Indifference, and we created this week-long campaign to inform our peers about Darfur, which is a genocide happening in Sudan. Um, genocide is an intentional killing. It's the same thing that the Holocaust was, yet no one knows about it. So we planned this week. May 19th through the 23rd, South hosted Save or Stand Against Indifference Week. We kicked off the week with David Johnson coming to speak to 400 of our student body. On Tuesday, we had a student museum in the library where art students created art that depicted their feelings towards art. Wednesday was club day. Um, it was an injustice exposure day. The different clubs chose different places where injustice was happening and taught about them. Today was a response day. We had tables set up where kids could sign petition letters to senators saying, why aren't you speaking out against this indifference? There were huge white posters on the walls for students to sign their name to write their feelings so that they could have a say. And Friday, 500 students piled down into the track to walk and say, we're all coming together. We're not going to be silent. The biggest memory for me was when a football player came up to me and said, are you guys doing this next year? I want to help. I didn't know about these people, but now I love them. I want to help the people of Darfur. Are you going to do something next year, Anna? I want to help. So we decided to create a club, and we're not going to continue with Darfur next year, but we are going to continue. But the thing was that really touched my heart was that peer, my peers responded. They cared. And that's the thing. If we know and if we care, we can do something. Even though we're high school students, maybe at South Mech, but here in Charlotte, North Carolina, we can love the people in the world. Carry me out just to